Hello, this is Pietra Luna Tarot 808 for the collective spiritual messages from the universe using tarot cards and playing cards. Um, we start with an energy of, well, the first message that I received is I accept my situation without resistance. And this is the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from things and no longer service. But on this, on this tarot deck, which is called the Crystal Power, uh, it gives us like... Um, solutions to or meditations on regards to each of the cards and this is a great um definitely linking to the energy that i have below this card which is the eight of swords and the ten of swords the eight of swords is about our thoughts and it's about feeling like we're we mentally entrap ourselves uh there's a mental entrapment that we create probably because we're anxious, because we're very stressed, and that's very understandable during this time. Uh, it's already almost two years of going through the pandemic, and people are feeling stressed, and and uh, the Ten of Swords is about excess, uh, so it could be probably we, we might be going around in circles about the things we would love to fix, but we cannot fix right now, or things that we want to move away from. Maybe we want to change jobs. Maybe we want to change our relationship because it's not working. Maybe it's not about changing the relationship, but changing uh, the way you relate to to people and that you need to make changes. Sometimes uh, there's moments in our life when it is not the right time to make the changes or we're not able to do them ASAP as we would love to. Uh, so this card is telling us, okay, yes, it is time. We have been going through a lot of stress and it is time uh, to move forward from that. But um, it is important to know that everything is this too shall pass. Uh, th moments of stress uh, will pass. Nothing lasts forever. And the more we can relax and and instead of focusing our mind on the things that we don't want, we start putting our eyes on the things that we would love to create in the future. Uh, if we are grateful for what we have right now, instead of just focusing on the lack of the things we don't have or the things we would like to solve. So it's a calling to accept the current situation without resistance, knowing that it will not be eternal, it will not be forever, this will pass, life is all about cycles, and what the cards are telling me is that once we release that, once we release that stress that everything's going to be, a, a, of having a gloom and doom mentality, that everything's going to be gloom and doom forever, as soon as you can release that thought, okay, accept maybe you're in a job you don't like, but I mean, that's the job you have. And uh, it will be worse to be without a job, definitely. And know that you, that doesn't mean that you have to stay on the job, job forever. You can, you can be looking at other jobs while or... Maybe it's time to go to couples therapy or maybe something is no longer working for us and that we need to change our dynamic to it and the way we, our perspective towards the situation and that because if we have a negative always a negative response to the negativity that we're going through we're creating more negativity and usually what that calls in is more negative things so if you think you're having bad luck if you start obsessing that you have bad luck then you definitely going to invoke more bad luck into your life so that's the calling for today to release to know that this too shall pass don't think that a bad day is going to be the theme of the rest of your life because that's not true and there's also a promise from the universe that things are going to change that from from the breakdown of the things that no longer serve us, and this could be collectively as a society, financially, on our work, from the small scale to the big scale, that there is an energy of, of uh, a manifestation of new beginnings, of things that are made with more passion, that are uh, something, things that resonate with us better, things that are uh, the king of, of wands is about fire and it's about passion, it's about creating and manifesting, it's about knowing what you love and putting all the effort into creating that which you want. I, so it's, and also when, as I was doing the reading, I got like more 
um, clarifying cards. I usually like to use several decks. And I got the, the three Ace of Wands on the regular tarot, the universal tarot that I have, which is like a mini deck. And this one, which is from the Crystal Power. And it says, I am inspired to follow my passion. So after being in... After being in this situation of the pandemic for so long, the calling is to turn our eyes to the things that give us passion, that ignite our hearts, that make us feel alive. And if that, that there's a great energy or right now to manifest new things, to, for the creation of new things, an abundant time, and that abundant time is going to come and it's going to come soon. Now, that doesn't mean that everything's going to be perfect from day to night, but that there's great possibilities of things being manifested, of fertility, of an increase, of overflow, because we're in times of change. And in times of change, things get created. And that's what the energy is telling us. Yes, some things are falling down, things that no longer serve us, but they're giving room for new things to flourish, new things to be created, new ways to create things, or new ways to uh, do work, new ways to do economy, new ways to do our relationship, new ways to do how we relate to our family, new ways to how we spend our days, and that we remember to follow our passion, the things that make us feel alive, uh, because in this moment of where we might be feel corner, or we might feel some darkness, this is a great time to go and reach out for that thing that makes you feel alive in a healthy way, obviously. The other energies that I got, and from the Tao Oracle, I got the similar messages, or not similar, it's actually the same message of, it says here, increase, sharing, reaping rewards, overflow, expansion, flowering, encouragement, fertile ground, and abundance, which is exactly the energy of the Ace of Wands. As you can see here, uh, there is, it's not flowering, but it does have leaves. It means new beginnings, fertile ground, uh, reaping rewards, exactly. So it's actually the same message. So it is a great time, like uh, when there are forest fires on on like California, it seems like such a loss and such a ter terrible thing. And of course it is when it's, when it's man-made, definitely. Uh, but in nature, it also happens. And in certain forests, uh, it is necessary, like for the sequoia um, seeds to burst, they need the, the forest fire. So after the fire, it's a great time to uh, for fertile ground because the ground has been fertilized by the things that, um, that died. And um, so that's like the energy, not to think or as a reminder from the universe that when, when things um, fall down, they usually... Um, fertilize the ground for better things to be built after them, newer, better things, more abundant and better. And I also got the energy of in influence. It says courtship, much mutual attraction, genuine effect, affection, natural magnetism, stimulation, and connection. Now, uh, this could be maybe uh, for some that uh, romantic connections could happen at this time. It's a fertile time as well. So it could be a time uh, to watch out if you don't want to get pregnant because it might be a very fertile time for women as well. Or it could be a fertile time to find a new partner if you're by yourself or to renew your relationship or maybe renew um, the way you approach your work or maybe getting a new job. It could be different, or it could also be a great in, an influence of someone in your life uh, that connects you to someone else that is going to get you abundance. I mean, like network of a uh, social networking, right? Uh, but with people that just, uh, uh, pre, um, they connect you with the right people that you need to flourish. We also got the energy here with the cards from Jane Jane Austen cards. Uh, sometimes some of the, the quotes have a relation with the meaning of the cards, but sometimes they don't. But I did get on this, this is a deck uh, from Reno actually, uh, that a friend of mine gave me and it, in the box it says that it was used in an actual game uh, on Harass Reno. This is a 
Paris. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, so you might forgive me if I'm butchering the name. But that's from Reno. He gave it to me a long time ago. And I still cherish it. And I wrote the the planetary influences and the zodiac signs that each of the cards represent. And as you can see, and I was... I always get surprised when I get similar, like when I use different decks and I get similar cards. And if you can see, uh, it's not like I'm using 20 cards from each each deck that is statistically you would say, okay, of course, you, you're going to get some similar cards on, that, on those statistics. But I'm only using four cards and there's already repetition of cards. So that means that we're in the right track. The universe is communicating with us and it's telling us what the topic of the energy is right now. So we have repeated the Queen of Swords here and here. Now the Queen of Swords, she has the influence of Venus. That's when Venus is in Libra. So she is the she's about fair justice. Uh, she's also no bullshit because she's the Queen of uh, Swords. So she's about intellect. She places a great amount of deal in that her decisions are made in a rational logical way but she also has the influence of venus being a queen so that means that it's not like she she is um totally cross or insensitive because well okay on her negative traits she might be but what what it tells us is that she's fair she wants to to establish fair justice in a way that it's, of course, not, not uh, damaging to anybody in her kingdom. But it also means that she gives herself, if there's a queen from all the four queens that gives her, herself her place, is the queen of swords. Because she takes no bullshit. And she's really adamant in establishing healthy boundaries with people that might be trespassing those boundaries, and they shouldn't. Um or they think because she is a, a feminine or she has a feminine energy that uh, she is not empowered or she is not as decisive as an emperor. And that's not true. She knows she's very independent. Uh, she will tell you the truth to your face, even if you don't like it. But when it is necessary and when it's, it is fair to tell you what you need to hear. And Lib but Libra is also about balance. Libra is about harmony. It's about beauty, which Venus is about as, as well. Beauty, pleasure, harmony. So the Queen of Swords is is always looking to establish a good balance in between the the harmony and the fairness of how she goes around her life and how she makes decisions and how she communicates. So with the energy that I'm seeing here, where we have the Queen of Swords here and here, we have the Five of Wands, which is about competition, or it could be about conflicts, or or um, it could be um, disagreements. The Five of Wands shows four men uh, like uh, having like a battle or a game with sticks. Uh, kind of looks like, like a hockey game. So it's about competition to see who's stronger. Uh, so it could be you're having maybe some conflicts around you. But what the energy is telling me with the four of ones and the and the six of ones, the four of ones is about a and this has to do with with mar marriage. So it does have a relationship with this with this card because the four of ones is about celebrations, is about marriage, is about a nice and uh, nice structure, uh, but like a structure of, of a marriage where you are where your passion is involved in what what you're doing or an anniversary or a, like a party or a family gathering but mostly the traditional message is about solid things or or marriage now that doesn't mean that it only applies to that but when we have it with the six of wands uh what it tells me is that we have an encouragement from the universe to put healthy boundaries around us, uh, not to be um, afraid to to be empowered and to have that discernment. And whenever people are maybe being out of line or they're um, they're being rude or they're being smart ass, or maybe it's your boss who wants you to do more work than a human being can do, then it's time for you, or maybe your family are expecting too much from you. So it's also a calling to have healthy boundaries, uh, not to take 
everything that has been given to you, but to know how to manage those boundaries be, uh, um, without becoming a tyrant. Uh, because the queen of the the balance of the queen of swords is that she can be cutting, she's straight to the point, but she's not. But she also has compassion, and she also wants things to work properly. Um, so it's not like she's um, um, unreasonable or totally heartless. The cards that I had here really gave me like the topic of what we're talking about today or the energies that we're feeling and this is if you see here and i got the same cards and this is i well, next time i'm gonna i'm gonna uh film myself shuffling so that you see it's not that i just happen to place the same cards below these are the cards that i got and you see there's a repetition with the uh, ten of cups ten of cups here ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here as well and this is telling me that, indeed, in order to uh, get out of our, of our of the situation in life where we're feeling stuck or we're not feeling happy or we're not feeling fulfilled, like uh, from what the cards were telling us at the beginning of the reading, it is through this decisions of investment uh, with the Two of Pentacles, which has the energy of Jupiter. Jupiter is expansive and Capricorn is about building uh, uh, a good, safe economic empire or managing well your finances or about building a company it, or the structure of your life. It's about comfort, basically, Capricorn, about the basics in life like shelter, home, food, work, and and making sure that you're always creating more money and that you don't have any lack. It's, it's an energy, of, of course, of Earth of always having all that you need uh, in a material way. Uh, and, and also, that's not like a bad thing. It, it is also a way of showing love of Capricorn to the people in Capricorn, to the ones that they love, because they know how, how important feeling secure in your home, in your structure, in your job, it, uh, how, how important it is to feel... Um, well, it's one of the basic human needs, right? To have all that you need, to have the basic uh, human needs covered before you can even start about the rest of the ful spiritual fulfillment. Um, and the the energy of the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords is telling me that the only way to get out of that a stock situation is to make decisions to to get empowered to start drawing the your boundaries and to start planning strategically uh, what is it that you want to create in the future and that it be something where you can have your family or you yourself or um, your friends even if you don't have like like a, a family of your own I mean by children and spouse and and, and grandsons and things like that but I mean or your, it could be also your your company, which could be like your baby, or maybe it's a hobby. It's telling us that in order for us to achieve balance and to achieve, the 10 is also about completion and culmination, and it's when we can relax and we can enjoy the fruits of our labor, like here with the 10 of Pentacles, uh, where you already created your coin, you created your kingdom, and you can share it with your family and your friends and whoever is in need. Um, the only way to get there is by making the right decisions on where are we going to invest our energy, on where are we going to invest our thoughts, on where are we going to invest days and the little by little we will be able to create a blissful situation for ourselves if we know how to put boundaries and if we are being the basically the driver behind the wheel taking decisions but also not going crazy like the first of the card said not going crazy that you're going to achieve everything in one day because it's going to take some time I uh, here again this is similar energy of feeling like the wounded uh, warrior like we had at the beginning of feeling like things are not fair but there's an energy coming of greater things and for me this cards what are what they are telling me is that I usually don't uh, 
see the energy of like uh, of the one and only of God and cards all the time. But here, I I do feel it. I feel like God is working behind our backs uh, that to provide us with it to a in a better to provide a better situation for us and that everything that we're going through is actually a necessary step for us to break free from things that no longer served us and to get us in a better place and that it's a time of like judgment of our of our calling that is it was already time to leave behind uh, the ways in which we're constructing life and the ways in which we were looking at ourselves. And if we've been doing this uh, inner work of meditating on seeing the tough situations that we've been going through for the la almost last two years as lessons, as a time to go within and to get uh, serious with yourself and to do your best to evolve spiritually or to find a balance between yourself, the universe will notice and the wheel will turn to give you blessings. And as I've been saying on the other readings, we've been already enough on the on the uh, energy of of um, the down energy, the dark night of the soul, um, and it's already time for the wheel to turn into um, more positive things, into less conflict, into things that are gonna flow better. So we could start seeing that in the next week, or the next coming weeks, or in the next month, that. There's going to be a fertile ground for new projects, for more inspiration, but that it is important for you to delimitate and put a stop to the things that are being of disrespect to you in any way, shape, or form. And with the last card, the Seven of Cups, which is about decisions, it says, I trust myself to see the truth. Um, we might... That for me, this energy as well as of anxiety of making the right decision. Should I pick this cup? Should I pick that other cup? And the recommendation is that we follow our heart. I trust my knowing and follow my heart like the queen of cups. And that our heart is going to be the best compass during these uh, difficult times. And again, the energy of the, the spiritual messages is to let us know that this too shall pass and that we are going to come into a, a great moment. There's great opportunities coming if you put your, your, um, your mind into creating something new. And um, don't put resistance in, into the things that no, lo lo no longer work because it's a part of, it's a cycle of life. It's part of, of life. And even though as we as humans don't get to see the social changes, uh, we think that everything's always going to be the same because time in history goes very slow, uh, but that's not the truth. I mean, humanity has gone through so many changes. Uh, this is nothing compared to other situations that humanity has gone uh, through, but I, it feels like it was a necessary life lesson for all of us. Uh, it was a an obligatory going going within of like the hermit going within with ourselves and having not much distractions but to face ourselves and the things that we need to uh, overcome so that we can find a better future and we can uh, live a more peaceful and abundant and relaxed life uh, i hope that was of help to you um I'm going to put the link in the description for my Amazon wish list. If you want to check out my tarot cards, if you want to get some for yourself, everything there is from 10 to $30, a few things that are 40 but very affordable, like white magic things, very uh, like uh, uh, witchy chic, uh, instead of shabby chic, witchy chic, uh, like, or gypsy chic. And uh, I hope you enjoy that. And remember to subscribe because by for Halloween, I'm going to be giving away several uh, readings for free for everybody that subscribed to all my social media, to YouTube, to Facebook, and to my Instagram. Uh, so if you like a free, free reading, um, remember to subscribe to my three social media, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And at the end of uh, next month, by Halloween, I'll be giving uh, free readings. Uh, I'm not sure how many yet, but probably as many as I can. So if you have any friends that would be interested in participating, uh, feel free to, to let them know and, uh, and tell them the, 
what the um, requirements are that they can subscribe. And um, of course, if it if you like my style of reading and if it resonates with you, uh, when I do a reading, a personal reading, I don't do it collectively. I I check specifically for the person's situation. Okay, I hope you have a great week a week for this end of the month, and um, I hope to be soon with another video more information uh if you would like to discuss any particular topic you can make a comment below all right blessings